What's up, everybody? Big Sweet C here with you, and I want to talk God of War. So the time has come. We've finally finished our God of War live streams. I know we're not completely finished with the Let's Play yet, uh, but I want to talk about this game because this is probably going to be the front runner for my favorite game, new game of this year. I absolutely loved playing this game. God of War was this was completely different than I remember from the previous God of War games for a few specific reasons. Um, I know in previous generations you had button combinations like R1, R1, R1 would do you know different moves and all that stuff. Uh, but this is the first time I remember. Keep in mind I haven't played God of War 3 yet, so maybe maybe God of War 3 I'm missing out. But what I remember from God of War 1 and 2 was a lot of button mashing and a lot of mob enemies. You still get the mob enemies in this game, but there is a much, much better battle play design in my opinion. The enemies are smarter, there's more tactics to this one, uh, you can dodge. It feels a lot more like Dark Souls to me than a God of War game, and uh, and I, I absolutely love that. You guys know I am a huge huge fan of the of the Dark Souls series so anything that kinda resembles that is a plus in my book um, you still have all the amazing just violent violent action moves from the God of War games but you put them in this kind of uh, more Dark Souls samurai-esque fighting st style and uh, and to me that was a major major bonus uh, some of the other things I actually really liked. I liked the idea of having the boy with you. He added a new perspective to the way I fought. Uh, you would get in there and some enemies would just be too fast for you. You need the, bow, uh, the boy's bow to slow them down so you can attack them. I, I'm speaking specifically of the revenants. Uh, but he could also be used to open up stuff and and crawl through dungeons and whatnot and and kick down ladders and everything i really really enjoyed that aspect of it um mamir it was another good uh addition because he was able to tell you the story of the gods as you go uh, as you go through the game uh, which I really appreciate. I'm a huge fan of uh, not just Nordic mythology, but all mythology. That is one thing that I kind of missed in uh, in the God of War 1 and 2 that I played, was there's really no story. You, you are supposed to kind of know who these gods are and what they do. And for the most part, because I studied it in, in high school and a little bit after high school, I kind of did know who these guys were. But God, this God of War completely flipped it on his head so you've got Odin and Thor Thor has become this kind of monumental good guy because of Marvel uh, and uh, you flip that over and you find out that in this world he's actually kind of a jerk um, you find out that he's done a ton of bad stuff that all the gods have done a ton of bad stuff and so for it to kind of flip itself on its head like that I really really appreciate it um, I also like the fact that there was some barter as you went through the story. I find my I found myself, and maybe this is why I didn't continue into God of War 3, I found myself kind of getting bored with the game after a little while because it was just essentially mindless gameplay. I went in there, I just hit buttons, killed a bunch of enemies, and then I skipped all the cutscenes. I... I like the way that they played this out better. Not only were the cutscenes better, obviously, because we have better engines and consoles nowadays, but it kept me engaged when I was outside of those cutscenes with the barter between the kid and the head, the kid and you, uh, and uh, and so that was those were the three kind of things that really stood out to me. Uh, was the the new gameplay style being more like Dark Souls? Uh, the barter between the uh, the kid and the and, and Kratos, um, and uh, I guess I said three things. <laughs> I guess that's only two. I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't talk right now, as you uh, um, as you can tell. Uh, I also uh, I also enjoyed the idea of going back and forth between these different dimensions. Um, the favors that you could do. Uh, I, I shouldn't call them dimensions. They're not dimensions. They're realms. Being able to go to and from different realms was a nice little aspect to me as well uh, that I did appreciate. Um, 
a lot of the puzzles were very, very fun. Some of them were incredibly difficult. And um, some of them were, I made a lot more difficult than I thought. <laughs> uh, but overall, most of the puzzles were very, very fun. Um, and it, it, it added another feature that I really appreciated as opposed to nonstop just button mashing violence. We also had to, uh, to think about it a little bit. Um, and solve uh, solve some puzzle pieces, which uh, which I really really appreciated. Uh, finally, on the side of kind of nitpicky things, um, not so nitpicky because I actually liked it. I mean, obviously the game looks incredible. It's on the PlayStation 4. Um, I played it without the high dynamic range. I can only imagine that with the high dynamic range, it looks even better. Um, I, uh, I'm very, very excited. I haven't gone into a New Game Plus yet because I'm, I, I kind of want to fill everything. No, I don't want to do a complete 100% walkthrough because I, I plan on doing a New Game Plus to do that. Uh, but I do kind of want to open some stuff up just to see where everything is um, and to kind of prepare myself. Uh, having said that, I do plan on going into a New Game Plus. Um, haven't decided whether I'm going to stream it, whether I'm going to do a, a, like a, a video, um, a, like a Let's Play of it or not. Uh, but uh, but keep in mind for that, um, because in all all in all, and, and I know I know it might seem a little biased uh, because um, because we just got done playing it, and uh, and maybe maybe that's why it's the front runner right now. Maybe that's why we always uh, we always show the movies that get nominated for best picture in January. Uh, because it's fresh in your mind. <laughs> um, but uh, but right now. This is the game that I keep going back to. We have moved into two new Let's Plays, um, and instead of trying to figure out how to play those games, I still find myself wanting to go back to uh, go back to God of War. It's um, it's replaced, uh, essentially, almost completely replaced Destiny 2 for me right now. Um, it's even kind of kept me from uh, from continuing on in our Warframe Let's Play, um, and uh, and uh, kind of moving into anything else. So. Um, it is a game that I I am really kind of, for lack of a better term, obsessed with right now. And I know I just used that uh, for Absolver a couple of months ago, but uh, but this this has taken me by storm. And um, it looks beautiful. The story is fantastic. Uh, the gameplay is incredible. So much fun. And it, it only gets better as I open up new moves, upgrade new moves, upgrade equipment. Uh, because some of these people, like the Valkyries, are really, really tough, even on the basic, whatever the generic basic setting is. And uh, so I can only imagine, give me God of War mode, it must make me want, make you want to blow your brains out sometimes. Because <laughs> uh, it, it has not been, it has not been easy. Um, and, uh, and I appreciate that. Again, being a huge Dark Souls fan, you guys know that, uh, that I love, 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 love the games that uh, make you want to blow your brains out because they are so challenging. So, um, mad, mad props to God of War. If uh, you get a chance to play it, do yourself a favor and do so because I have loved every minute of, of it so far and I can only imagine it's going to get better the better I get at it. So... Right now we've got uh, we've got a couple of uh, games on the list. I mentioned one earlier. Uh, Absolver will definitely be on there. Um, right now I've only played Neo once. It's borderline at best. Uh, but this this right here, God of War, has uh, has got to be the uh, the front runner right now for my favorite new game of uh, of 2018. So uh, be prepared for that. Um, I might have just given away <laughs> a future video. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, two thumbs up. I would give you three if I had them, uh, to, uh, to the creators of the God of War game. Um, learning to dad was, was a blast. And, uh, I, uh, I hope to keep bringing it to you guys, uh, be it in individual random videos here and there or, a, or a full, uh, God of War, give me God of War mode, uh, let's play. So be on the lookout for that. Um, either way. Mad, mad shout-outs to uh, God of War. A big, big thank you to my girlfriend's brother, Bikram. He's the one that donated this to the channel. I can't, uh, I can't thank him enough because otherwise we would have been sitting on this one for a little bit uh, uh, still. So, uh, mad shout-out to Bikram. Thank you so much for uh, donating this to the channel. Can't thank you enough. Thank you guys for watching it. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. If, uh, if you liked it like I did, hit that thumbs up. If you hated it, 
Comment down below. Let me know why you hated it. Um, I uh, I would really like to hear any negative uh, negative arguments on the game right now because uh, as of right now I can't find any reason to exactly. not like this game because I I really 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 enjoyed it a lot. So either way that's gonna do it for this one. Big sweet C. That's me wishing you a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it might be. Long as you're watching, I'm wishing you a wonderful watching time. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that sub button. Be sure to hit that follow button wherever you may be. Hit that love button for your boy because I love you. So show me you love me too. If uh, if you are seeing this and you want to help out the channel in many other ways, you can find me wherever you are right here. I'm on YouTube. I'm on DTube if you're a Steemit user. I'm on Twitch for the live streams. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even Tumblr, all across the board at Big Sweet C. Do your boy the favor of showing the love. Either way, sweetness, signing off. Peace. Bye.